Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game all about America's favorite dessert called Piece of Pie. Piece of Pie is a two to four player game for ages eight and up, plays in about 15 minutes, and it's from Blue Orange Games. Um, what you're doing in this game is you're essentially trying to make your favorite pie. So in this game, everyone's gonna get given a card that's gonna show their favorite pie piece. It's gonna be kiwi, apricot, um, strawberry, or blueberry. And then you're gonna try to, uh, on your turn, you're gonna go draft a piece of the pie and make your own pie. There's going to be different ways to score. You're trying to get chocolate. You're trying to get some Cool Whip or some um, custard or something. And you're trying to get these different little crust embellishments on the top to get a set of those. And there's also sometimes where you want to get certain types of pieces next to other pieces. It's a pretty straightforward, simple game. Um, that's enough talking about it. Let's go out to the table. See how it plays. So here's a game of piece of pie set up for three players. Let me go over setup kind of quickly, and then we're just going to play. This is a pretty straightforward filler family weight game that is pretty easy to explain once you watch so just let me go over setup to set up you're going to give each player one of these cards of pieces they're trying to collect this is going to be me i'm trying to collect blueberry the other two players are trying to collect different types of pieces of pie so either kiwi apricot or strawberry and i don't know all right then you're going to have this card out you're trying to get different decorations on your cake for every chocolate you get or your pie every chocolate you get one Every set of, I think it's whipped topping, you get two points. And a complete set of all three of those shapes is worth five. And then we're trying to do a pattern, which looks like this. If I can get a blueberry directly two pieces away from another piece of pie, I'll get three points. And then if I can get the same piece of pie next to each other, I'll get two points. And then whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. All right, so in a three player game, you're gonna set up three pies randomly. Um, you're going to take out all the pies that have like burnt back or darker back in a three player game just so you have three pies. And then the way this game works is everyone's going to draft or draw a piece of the pie. Whenever a pie is whole, you have to take a piece that's pointed to by the middle piece. So in this case, this somebody could take this piece, this piece, or this piece. Then So say I take this piece, then after that you have these two pieces and these two pieces that you can take from. So as the pies get going, there's more options of pieces to take. So that's the game. Now we're just gonna play. I'm gonna play until we all get a pie. So the pies are gonna move from down here, down in front of us, and then we'll do the scoring and then we'll be done. All right, so I'm gonna go first. Uh, I wanna get some blueberry, so let's see. But I also wanna get a couple pies next week. So I'm gonna take this. So I'm gonna take kiwi, put it here. All right, then the next player um, is going to take this one because it has a heart and some chocolate. And then the third player will take, they're going to take the apricot. Right there. All right, that's back to me. And then I get to take another piece. So I can have a lot more choices now. I can take these two, these two, or the strawberry. And I'm actually going to take the strawberry. So I'll put that right there. And you always have to build your pie next to the piece that you put down previously. You can't just randomly put it wherever you want. Then the other player, let me see what they're trying to collect. All right, and they're gonna take this pie, some kiwi. And then the other player, let's see. They wanna get the same pie because they wanna get some points. So they're gonna take apricot. Then back to me, I'm gonna take some blueberry. I'll put it right there. This player, they want to get, they want to get a blueberry so they can get some points here. All right, and then that player, they're going to take, they're just going to keep trying to get points. So they're going to take this one. And back to me, I'd love some more blueberry, but I'm actually going to try to get some chocolate. So let's take some chocolate pieces. Let's go there. Back to this player. Let me scoot my pie over a little bit. I'm gonna run out of room on the pie. This player wants kiwi. 
And that player, they want to get another berry, but they're going to try to start hitting this goal. So they're going to take this one. And then back to me. I'll take this one. No, I already have a star, a flower. Let's just take the cool whip. Nope, I don't need the cool whip. So we'll just take regular strawberry. And then, oh no, I don't want to take strawberry, forget that. I'm going to take this. That'll at least be some points for this goal. All right, then it's this player's turn. They want to get, to take this. And this player, I'm just going to randomly take some stuff now so we can start scoring. So let me slide up some stuff so you can see the pies a little better. All right, then back to me, I'll take this. This player takes this. This player takes this one. I'm not doing a very good job of getting blueberry. Then this player will take this. This player will take this. I will take this, this, and this. All right, so that would be the end of the game. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna score our pies. So let's see what this player was collecting. They were trying to get kiwi, and this player was trying to get hopefully apricot. Oh yeah, good, I didn't even look at it. All right, so you're gonna score one point for each piece of that pie that you collected. So I would get two, they would get two, they would get three. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna score these. So any blueberry that you have that's two spaces away from another piece. So in this case, I have nothing on mine. Yeah, so I would get, nope, from the same piece. Yeah, so I got this one. So I'm two spaces away from strawberry there. And yeah, so I get three points. This player would get nothing because they're different pieces and this player would get nothing as well. Then you're gonna get two points for every pair of pieces of pie that you have next to each other. So let me see what I have. I have two, four, six. So I would get six, two, four, six. They would get six, and they would get two. And then we would add up these. So you you look at this, every player is gonna get one point for each chocolate that they have in their pie. So in this case, I have three. The chocolate is the little piece up there to the top. I thought it was cinnamon at first, but then I actually read through the in-game scoring. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get three points for every two, I think it's whipped cream or cream of some sort that's next to each other. So in this case, I have a set of three that still counts as the three points because it doesn't matter, it needs to be two or more. So I have three, that's all I get. They have two, they would get three. And then you're going to score for the complete set of little crust embellishments that you have. And I don't have a complete set. This player does not have a complete set. And that player does not have a complete set. So no one scores those points. And then you would add up all your points. And whoever has the most points is the winner. And that's how you play piece of pie. Four players essentially the same, except you're gonna use this side. So there's gonna be four different pies out there. Um, and in a two player game, it sets up like a four player, but each player is trying to collect or is going to make two different pies. So it's essentially a four player game with each player collecting two pies. And that's the game. Let's go up to the top, see what we think about it. All right, well, that was piece of pie. Uh, this game is easy as a piece of pie, as you can see in the, the playthrough. It's a super short filler. I mean, you're gonna set this up while you're, or maybe someone else has set up a bigger game or you're waiting for somebody to show up. I played this with my six year old and it says you can, you the age is eight and up, but my six-year-old was fine. She didn't quite understand the bonus cards where you had to get like pieces, two pieces away from others. She didn't get that, so we just played without that. But she understood, hey, I need to collect strawberry pieces, I'll get strawberry pieces. I need to get chocolate, I'll collect chocolate. I need to get um, all three of these different shapes on my piece, of, my piece of pie, I'll collect those shapes. So it's easy for a six-year-old. It's easy for a 35-year-old. It's just an easy, simple, nice-looking game about everybody's favorite dessert, pie. My only complaint, and it's not, it has nothing to do with the game, I just wish there was some apple pie. There's no apple pie in this, come on. Everybody loves apple pie. I love apple pie, or pumpkin pie. There's so many good pies. Uh, but it's neither here nor there, irrelevant to the game. I just wish there was some apple pie pieces. So that was Piece of Pie. I think this is coming out later this year from Blue Orange. Um, stay posted to their website, their social media, and you'll find out when this is gonna be 
getting released. And if you like simple fillers that you can play as a family while you're waiting on a bigger beast to come to the table, check this out. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming.